Diego Comic Con. My name is Devin Kogan. I'm a senior writer at Entertainment Weekly, and I'm so excited to be here in EW's Comic Con studio with the cast and creative team of Archer. Yes. Yes. Are, we, are we live? Are we live? Hey. Are we live? No. Are we live? No. <laughs> this is memorized. How, Take it easy. How does it feel to be back at Comic Con? Pretty it's good. awesome. Yeah, it really is. We awesome. took what two years off with. Yeah. Uh, now we're pretending COVID doesn't exist. So yeah. This is great. Yeah, welcome to COVID Con 2022, everybody. <laughs> yeah, really. When was it? It was like three years ago. Three right? years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2020. Yeah, it's great. 2019. 2019. It's good to be back. Absolutely. Um, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. You're on season lucky number thirteen, um, yes. which is so exciting. Which, and I know, you know, when the season starts, you know, you've got, you know, the Archer and the agency has sort of been acquired by this, you know, by I. A, tell me a little bit about how that kind of sets up uh, sets up the season, Matt. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, the season is every season we try to keep it a, something a little bit different. It's always going to still be the same people, but this season we're kind of under the thumb of Fabian Kingsworth and this kind of overarching spy agency, and they're kind of really putting all of our people through our paces. As they're going through that, they're all also fighting for who's going to sit in the lead chair of our agency. And so Cyril and Pam and and uh, Lana, they're all Not gonna, so much Krieger. No, nobody, 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 nobody wants to, no. They're all going to fight over to see who gets to be in that chair. It's kind of interesting fun to see them all pitted against each other. Let me, so it sounds like a, it's a little bit of a battle. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hunger Games. Another kind of battle of the bastards, if you will. Oh. Battle of the assholes. <laughs> I made that up. Beautiful. That's oh, that's God. perfect. That was good. You are taking credit for it, so I guess. Yeah, and for, you know, for each of the cast members, I'm curious: is there something you guys get to do for the first time on this season that you're you're really excited about? Yeah, Pam is in a, a romantic relationship, which we've never seen before, right? No, I mean, she's seen her like she's done a lot of banging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's different. That's not love. <laughs> um, and so it's really fun to see Pam in a relationship. Yeah. yeah. Anyone else? Anything that they're particularly we're particularly hyped about this season? Yeah, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, one thing that we haven't talked about yet what is, is it, that Case? Uh, we have an episode with AJ in it again. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Oh, that's my, right. Yeah. My deeply neglected offspring. <laughs> yes, the, the, just, you, you had shipped off. Shipped somewhere. her off to a boarding school. It's a really, really his. I'm a hyster- career woman. Yeah. I have things I need to accomplish. <laughs> and the cool thing is, you got like a real uh, homeless child, right, to, to play the part of AJ, right? <laughs> yes. Well, you just like, snatched one right off the street. Yeah, this that's, is going terribly wrong. For that wrong. story, we. Decided to try to find the funniest thing, and so it was a custody battle. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah it's always fun. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Kramer versus Kramer yeah. versus Kramer other versus Kramer. Krieger. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, but yeah, no, and it, the, actually, that was that was one of the most emotionally kind of like laden episodes for me. It, it, there was some genuine stuff there, yeah. um, uh, which is interesting because she wasn't really fighting for the kid until she thought she was going to lose her, and then yeah. she went she went wild. But you know, she's a cartoon baby, so she doesn't need to be fed or she's not even a baby anymore. Like She's like she's 19 years old. Yeah. She's 36. She just bought her first house. said she's 10. Like 10 or... Okay. She got that Family Ties aging potion where she shot up over it. I love the current references Thank that you're you making. Thank you very much. Yes. You want to bring up Heart to Heart? You know, <laughs> if you're going to appreciate Michael or be J. Fox's with the, with the original work. Darren? <laughs> Dick Sargent? Yes, let's oh, talk God, about Oh, God, I forgot how old you are. Yeah, Dick York was the replacement. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm living in Jesus a Wikipedia Christ? page. You know, he was a replacement, too. <laughs> well, super, super Ever quick. Help. <laughs> 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 and I'm curious for you guys. You know, you've you've played with crossovers in the past. If you guys could cross over with any other show at Comic Con or, or like project at Comic Con this this year, what would you pick? I have a really nerdy one. It's perfect for Comic Con. Lupin the Third and Archer crossover would be amazing. Oh no, that's not nerdy. That's amazing. Let's right? all do, go do season three of Lupin. I love that show I so much. Can we hang out with Omar Sy? Yeah, I'm talking about like you're, the, you're, the you're animated not, one. Not oh the, no, I don't care about no, that no, show. No, no. I just thought we were going to get to hang just, out with Omar Sy and Paris. You're just thinking, thinking about I'm the sorry. guy who plays Lupin. You're like, what? I apologize. I should have made it clear I'm talking about the animated. Disambiguate, Mr. Wikipedia. Disambiguate. It's a very famous cartoon for nerds. About a thief. And uh, I think it would be perfect for the Archer world. It's a series on Netflix with a super hot guy named Omar C. It's That's amazing. also about a thief. It's also about a it's thief. Same, That's based it's on the, the comic sort book. Of material. Well, we can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
I guess it would be harder to cross over with a live action series. But again, can we get Omar C on our show? I mean, if he steals like a magic box and then they turn into an right? We did do a crossover, kind of, sort of, with Bob's Burgers one season. It was awesome. We let them be on our show and then they didn't invite us to be on their show. They never returned the favor in kind. Yeah. Well, they just, it was hard for them to like be around all this awesomeness. Yeah. They couldn't take it a second time. Screw those guys. I just remember that record session where John Benjamin was like, how do I should I sound now? I don't so confused. The voices are so different. <laughs> he couldn't figure out which character he was voicing at any one time. No. Yeah. Well, because he never reads the scripts anyway, so who cares? Yeah, true. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Sure. Yeah, sure. you got you got to get on him and be like, okay, when are we coming to to Bob's Burgers? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he's got zero power. <laughs> <laughs> as far as crossover goes, I think uh, the the. Agency gang would make great shield agents in the Marvel. Ooh, universe. Yeah. You know, oh. I have, I have, I have one. I'd love to see us do something with what we do in the shadows. We already have oh, Cave yeah, on. We fun. already have Cave on, who is Fabian in our show. Um, uh, Nor, not, not, not Norad. What is this character's name? Um, in Nando. N- Nandor. 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 So Nandor is Fabian for us. We've, and we've recorded Harvey and Matt Berry as well. So that so yeah. we're already so we're kind already of like yeah, we're already yeah. using the cast. Yeah. So that'd be great. We just like to go to other shows and go. steal their talent. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. I mean, I would watch a, an episode of Archer that was, you know, against vampires. Yeah, that'd yeah. be fun. That sounds sexy. Yeah. I can see Cyril and the energy vampire just, like, having a great talk. Yeah, he's the only one that Cyril doesn't bum out. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, <they> really, <laughs> Cyril might bump him out a little bit. Right? He would not want to hang out with me. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched him going to sleep. Man, <laughs> that's the answer. It took us 15 minutes to get there, Twitter. Sorry, internet. But that's how we write the show. <laughs> there you go. You got there eventually. Um, and I wanted to ask about, you know, season 12 ended with that really lovely tribute to, to Jessica Walter. Tell me a little bit about kind of how that came together and, and how that, how that you know, how you made that happen. Casey Willis, executive producer. Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> we're throwing it um, it, was, uh, it was tough when it happened, and we were in the middle of the season, so we had to kind of go back and, and write a, change the scripts a little bit and then we had the idea pretty early on of what we wanted to do and I knew it was the right thing to do when I told it to somebody over the phone and they started crying over the phone so I was like okay this is what we want and and we were so happy with the response that everybody was like this was the right way to do it and, and to just have um Ron Cadillac there with her as well. We just thought it was uh, really sweet. And also, like, she is disrespectful to a waiter there, too. Like, it's like, this is what... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is what she wants. Exactly what she would want. Exactly. She eviscerates someone yeah. from the afterlife. I also want to add that that was uh, a very difficult writing job, which was done very, very well by Mark Gannick, our co-executive producer right now. He just really, he really nailed that. And I didn't know Gannick took a step up in power. He did. Oh, that's, he did. That's the question. Oh. on Twitter. Ask He's available right there on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, great. Well, thank you guys so much for, for joining me, and uh, thank you everyone at home for, for watching with us. Um, stay tuned uh, for more uh, to EW.com uh, for all things Comic-Con throughout the weekend. And thank you guys again. Thank, thank you. you. We didn't touch fucking much. Oh, we really did.